Alright, here's how you take it apart. Lock this up, keeps it back. If you're familiar with guns, pretty much all have it. You can push this out. Using a little screwdriver deal here. And this has got to be cocked back that has a recess in it that lets that pin come out. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. I've done it one time, I think, here. Oh, I know what I did. First of all, there's magazine in it. Second of all, let's see. See that little clip right in there? Push that down. Now you can see it down. Pretty much it. Inside workings. Uh, put about a hundred rounds through it. It's pretty clean. Clean it up when I get home. A mm, little bit of residue powder. Find that this is a uh, pretty stiff sometimes to get back in there. Let me fight with it here a minute. There we go. Probably can't see it, but it goes inside of a groove there. Let's see. Slide it all back in. Bring it back. Pin in. Don't forget to knock this back up. Get it back up. That's it. Just wanting to show you uh, this is the Hornaday uh, critical defense round compared to. Oh, whatever this is, Winchester, 9mm, bulk, whatever, target bullet, play around bullet. Uh, show you the difference here between them. You got the full metal jacket on the Winchester. You can see uh, the Hornaday. This is the, oh, I mean, it just, it's like a rubber plug. It feels like a, like a rubber eraser from a pencil. Let's see if I can get the, the groove on it hollow point inside there. I haven't shot anything yet with them. I want to, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll shoot something. I'll probably shoot a milk jug, maybe compare milk jug blown up with this one to this one. I don't know, maybe there'll be a difference. Don't really care. You get to destroy a milk jug and watch it. It's fun. So there's that. All right, here's the difference between the uh, normal Winchester nine millimeter round. Pick them up at Walmart, whatever, 100, 100 count box, 115 grain. Uh, and the Hornaday Critical Defense. It's a hollow point with that kind of rubber type material in the end of it. Both are 115 grain, but uh, here's the difference. It's just a milk jug, but uh, it's, it's, I'm surprised by it. I, I wasn't expecting that much of a difference, but here you go. Okay, what I wanted to show you is the, the Blackhawk holster. Um, as you can see, it you probably can't see, honestly, but there's little hooks that come with it that you hook underneath your belt so it doesn't just uh, come off your belt. I mean, it really hooks. It's actually a little bit of a pain in the butt to try to take it off if you don't take your belt off first. Then the paddles on the inside, again, keeping the gun from twisting like I was talking about where it imprints on your shirt. Um, I like this. Uh, hopefully you can see it here. I'm gonna move you up a little bit here. Um, it's not gonna pull out until you hit this release. 
And there goes the camera. Let's try this again. When you hit this release is when it's going to come out. So I'm pulling. It is not going to come out. If I hold it down, hit that, it's out. And it's a natural place to put your finger anyway because that's where your trigger is going to be. You know, pulling it out, your hand's right there ready for the trigger. You can feel it snap in. I mean, it snaps in nicely. I mean, I, I really, really like it, you know, for, for uh, outside the waistband carry. It's pretty comfortable. Um, I think uh, I've got one of those Uncle Mike's holsters inside the waistband that I was telling you about. Uh, it's probably, honestly, a little more comfortable or they're, they're just very similar, you know, that you just, they just hang differently. I like this one also because you can change the cant, the angle of the gun itself, where I rocked mine forward. You know, so it's more of a natural position for me. You know, when I reach back and get it instead of straight down, I also found when the gun is tilted um, that your shirts, um, that type of thing, they don't hang up on it as much. Um, you know, let's say if you're trying to cover it up with something, which this, you know, really isn't a concealed carry holster, I wouldn't consider it anyway. Um, you know, I find that uh, stuff gets hung up on the top of it more when it was flat. I mean, you can obviously see it, you know, now, but with it tilted forward, it Let's the clothes drape over it just a little bit easier. Again, just hit it, comes out. I like it. It works. Um, I was going to say the size of the uh, the Uncle Mike's holster that I've got is a size one. It's this is the. Well, let's see if you can get this on here. Uncle Mike Sidekick size one holster, inexpensive, soft material. It's got Velcro. I actually cut it to fit the to fit these guns better. This is the P22 in it. It goes behind there. Fits pretty, fits pretty well. These guns are unloaded, by the way. I've already checked them. Nothing in them. This is the SR9C. <clears throat> I think this fits well uh, ugh, behind here. You know, holds it well. Um, you can see the, the tang on the inside of that that helps keep it inside your belt. Um, this inside the waistband, I find them really pretty comfortable. Um, uh, maybe the only thing I would like is if it's set down, you know, farther instead of it stopping at the top of your pants here. Maybe if it was up just a little bit, uh, just to get the hand grip portion lower uh, and hidden into your uh, into your waistline. Um, but uh, as you can see, that uh, the size one. And the Uncle Mike Sidekick holster fits well. Um, it's a nice holster. You know, it's inexpensive. It does its job. But, uh, there you go. I think I'm gonna probably, um, probably try out one of like the Colster holster or the uh, Super Tuck uh, type holster. I like those because they seem to uh, lower the hand grip even closer to your belt line. Uh, which that is what I find makes the biggest print on your shirt if you're a concealed carry. Uh, I like concealed carry. I don't necessarily want to announce it. I don't care if you like to open carry. That's up to you. I don't care regardless either way. Up to you. Um, I just prefer concealed carry. So I'll probably end up getting one of those. Um, read a lot of good reviews on them. They're supposed to be pretty comfortable. Um, you know, it makes sense why it'd be comfortable with the leather, how it comes up on you if you're familiar. If you're not, uh, YouTube it, check it out. There's quite a few uh, reviews out there for it. Then they've got competition cuts and that type of stuff, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, but, uh, you know, really so far today, the, the SR9C, I really like it. Uh, you know, I've had a couple guns where I uh, honestly regretted buying it, you know, afterwards. It was, just because I, I wasn't a good shot with it. I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with the gun, but it just didn't fit um, my style. I don't know if it was trigger pull. Um, they were all you know, pretty much subcompacts. I, I, I like the smaller type guns like that, but it just wasn't for me. Um, the gun I'm talking about is the, the Taurus Millennium Pro. Um, I had it for a while. Uh, I couldn't hit anything with it. I, I could, I'd probably do better if I just pulled out a holster and threw the gun at you. Um, that would probably make me a better shot with it. So I ended up getting rid of it. Um, that's when I picked up the P22, just for practicing with, uh, plinking and stuff like that. Really liked the gun, um, and uh, decided that I wanted to get something a bigger caliber to actually carry. And that's when I got the SR9C, uh, which I really like. Man, I, I, 
I can't say enough about it. You know, the reviews that I saw on it, the vi there's some review video reviews out there. I can't remember the guy's name, so I wish I, I did. He did a, a real good review, and he was, you know, I mean, he was a good shot. He was hitting stuff far away, farther away than what you would typically, you know, be shooting a handgun at. Um, I'm not going into distance, long distance shooting, something like that with a handgun. I just want to make sure I can hit what I'm aiming at and pretty accurately and, and you saw in the video uh, it's not bad um, i've got a there's a buddy of mine here today uh, he shot it his very first shot uh, let me show you here was this one here from 12 paces back and you can see you know these are his other shots uh, he does not even own a handgun um, you know so that's got to tell you something about it uh, what i found uh, earlier when the first 80 rounds or so i was just trying to get used to you know i have I have to work on myself. Um, I don't know what it's called, but when you're compensating for the recoil before it fires and it makes you miss whatever you're shooting at. And I had to practice that with uh, with this gun. And if you just practice, you know, calm down, wait for the gun to do its thing, don't react to it before it happens. You know, trying to keep recoil down when it's not even doing anything yet. And man, you'll hit your target. It's, it's, uh, it's a good gun. So, you know, again, I'm not, um, by any means a pro uh, shooting handguns obviously there's some really uh, amazing people out there uh, I'm just a, a hobbyist and I enjoy shooting so uh, so you know if you want to get an idea of uh, you know the way it shoots just the average Joe uh, if even that you know there's they shoot you guys watching this video probably shoot way more than I do I don't get to shoot near enough I always come out here and I ride a dirt bike instead of shooting guns and stuff but um, Man, it's it's such a such a nice gun. I'm probably gonna plug a few more into these targets, uh, make myself feel good about myself, and then put it up. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you want to check out some of the other videos. I'm gonna try to do some uh, other reviews of some friends' uh, guns or have them do a review for you. Uh, I think one of them's got a judge that he really likes, so uh, we'll try to get that up here soon. Uh, I'm not sure what else he has, but uh, I know he wants to get an SR9C now. Um, so uh, we'll go from there. I think he's got Glocks and stuff like that. So uh, I don't think you can find any Glock reviews on YouTube. I don't believe there's any out there. So maybe we'll do one on that. Yeah, I doubt it. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.